Michigan State 2003, a season with a new coach, a new offense, and renewed hope. The program pride is back. The turnaround personified by a quarterback who took the term comeback off the field. Tonight, he tries to end his career, overcoming one more obstacle. Nebraska's season of angst has had its ups and downs. The present, one last stand for a top-running quarterback, combined with a defense that returned its good name, second in the nation in causing turnovers. Tonight, their goal, end a painful season with a 10th win at Louisville, where he was very successful making five consecutive bowl wins. Opening drive start from the Spartan 20. And Smucker pressured right away, and is set. A loss of eight. Trevor Jeff Four teams that have attacked, which is what Nebraska typically does by bringing pressure, have gotten into trouble because of the quick release of Jeff Smoker. Bo Pelini feels that if they can get pressure with just their front four, it's on third and fourth down all night. Pressure coming up the middle. Smoker eludes it for a moment, but a second sack on this drive for Johnson. He had two sacks all season. Defense is going to pack it in. Nebraska and Jamal Lord have to have the ability to hit the play action pass. Second down. Corey Ross, the five foot six high back, jeeps forward to get out to the 46 yard line. I just like to work the officials Early. just in case the next time. <laughs> there is Ross up the middle with the lead back. Blocking for him, gets across the 40. Into the Greg Cooper, big in this game. A lot of runs, a lot of safeties coming up. Pitch to Ross, got the corner, and close to the first down. Born and raised to use the option as an offensive lineman for Nebraska. Ross up the middle, first down, and he stumbled, although he may have been on his way. Crewald now comes in as the fullback. Option to Ross, got the corner, and picks up eight yards. Corey Ross. The senior out of New Jersey. Option pitch to Ross. The 10. And steps out of bounds. So just shy of the 10, actually. At the no. David Dykes from 29. Knocks it through. Well, the different defensive backs to give him that nickel package. From the 37, Smoker looks for the screen. Dorch has it. They have Dorch. T.J. By T.J. Holloway. You know the thing I like about him is watch the reaction, Kurt. He saw that line move out. Out of the hold of Brandon Fields, the punter, plenty of leg. Fowler, a guy who's incredibly intelligent, and a guy who, as you mentioned, Mike, I thought, I think he's really handled this entire messy situation with a lot of class. The respect of his teammates back. Roll the pocket to the right. Smoker surveys and throws it in double coverage. It's intercepted. Daniel Bullock's exceptions. But here's his identical identical twin brother, Daniel, breaking on the ball, cutting right in front of the receiver. Lost your body. Yep. Never. Intercepted all the time. From their own 35, Lord, freeze option. Downfield for Isaiah Fluon. He's got it. First and goal, Cornhuskers at the seven. They're up tight to take away the run. Comes down the line. And all these people that say Jamal Lord can't throw, as Lee said, there's a great indication when he's given it a chance to succeed. 146 yards against Colorado. He could throw. Corey Ross banging forward. He's down. Second and goal. Two fullbacks into block. Full Ross to the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. Michigan and USC. Here it's Michigan State and Nebraska. Second and ten for Smoker. The screen for Hayes. They are dialed in to the screen package. Been able to run through and practice over and over. Look at the recognition right away. Number one, they got pressure. And then the, well, you see interior people chasing. Good point so far. Yeah, nice to see good defense. Oh, they're well schooled. The Second and seven is Ross. Got a block. Got to the edge and down. To the 26 yard line. Well, Nebraska unsure of what its future is with an interim head coach. Lord's pass again, Dusty Kaiser. This time he brings it in. Job of separating runs and passes. Watch this. Third and fourth throw. Caught at Ross Pilkington out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Picked it up at the 42 yard line. Spent a cup. Live your life just day by day, and you can change your life. That pass interference penalty kept the drive alive after the loss of one. This is deflected and incomplete. All three running quarterbacks beating them. Jamal Lord, a running quarterback, is on the run. Off to the races. Here goes Jamal Lord. Inside the 20. And out of bounds. Back at the 13. 
He gets in the out, open the field. Good block to spring and loose, and then Lord has the speed almost to take it to the distance. And Corey and Jamal Lord, very well coached play. Here's Ross again. He dances to the outside. He's at the five. This is the big one that Lee talked about yeah, where Tapley watch, came see? down. Yep. If you watch 90, 94 Tap, what he did is step to the inside and allow Lord to the outside. And he was in perfect position defensively to hold his ground, but he didn't. And this time, LeBenjo got hooked yep. by a, a tight end. Then he has no opportunity to stay to the outside to force to play back to the inside. Both times, mm -hmm. the speed of Nebraska and a lack of discipline by Michigan State's defense hurt him. And John L. Smith is... Yeah. And here he comes. And that's thrown nowhere. This is tomorrow. It gets even better on New Year's Eve. From the 33, Jamal Lord's throw is good. To Flewellen, out of bounds. First and 10 after the pickup. Lord. Flewellen. To the 46, pickup of nine. What a sec. Is sitting over on a scout team. Please play him. He's done well. Third throw, third completion. Third to Flewellen. First down at the 40. Jamal. Any name that gets brought up is purely speculation at this point. The one thing that I would recommend is I don't care if it's an NFL coach. I don't care. Still be here as a head coach. Third and ten. They've used two timeouts. The inside handoff to Hayes. He's brought down. Nebraska used the timeouts well. No longer the coach. Five seconds left. Final play. They'll run the Big Ben play. Coming off on lineman. Flag is down as Lord tries to reach the end zone. It is caught by the receiver. But time has run out as he has stopped. It's going to be a problem in the second half. You mark it down. Well, they need to watch Richie Incognito because he's got a lot of build-up frustration for Greg Taplin. We've seen it the entire first half. Let's go down to Jerry Punch, who's down there with Bo Pelini. Doc? Well, Coach, up by 14, your first half as a head coach. Uh, what are your thoughts after being a head coach for only 30 minutes? Well, the guys are playing hard. Uh, things are going our way right now. But... Uh, yeah. And 10 out of the shotgun. Lord keeps it, gets to the edge, and picks up a half dozen on first down. Spilled off the corner by Al Ashton Watson. How about the balance, bud? Well, the, the first half for Nebraska on both sides of the ball went about as well as you could ask. And a lot of big plays on first and 10. Here the play action to Flewellen. Late a little bit later, they had Ross come up through the middle. And again, they're mixing the play calling Pilkington. They're keeping him guessing. Tapley comes down, committing to the run. And that's where Jamal Lord made him pay for it and got to the outside. They're making the Michigan State defense respect every aspect of this offense. Nebraska, Jerry, good stuff. From the 27, Smoker, fake one pass, and then this one is incomplete. With, uh, it was interesting, to say the least. Smoker up top for Alexander, underthrown and incomplete. Good job by Josh Bullock there to break it up. No back, so they'll throw it again. Eric not the tight end. Hit as he could not hold on by Fabian Washington. Spartans into Husker territory. Screen. Dorch was broken up. Actually, Alexander, the receiver came. Watch what? the corner, Pat Ricketts. Pat Ricketts, watch how quick he reads screen. He's looking yeah, at so Alexander's that, screen. It. The ball's not even thrown yet, and he's already breaking to come up because he's reading the off. They show pressure with Bullocks. He comes. Also breaking in his hollow, but Smoker rolled away from the pressure. Into coverage. Oh, that was... A... Guys, Mike, yeah. that's what he's doing. They picked up the last third and ten. Here's another one underneath an incomplete. For Jason Randall, the tight end. And John L. was used for differentiation. Third and five. Deep ball for Flewellen. Incomplete. Coordinator, first and five. From the 43, Smoker is sacked. Ryan Bingham, second team, all big. That was to throw the football. But I'm telling you right now, after three sacks now by Nebraska, they don't respect the running. It's gone third down. This time, there is time for Smoker. Passes late and incomplete. Broken up. Got drilled by Fabian Washington on that last play. Show it to you momentarily. A first down run for Corey Rowe. Lord has adjusted the play at the line, and here it is. Option, they almost had him. He pitched to Ross, who has the first down at the 25-yard line. Almost reeled. Might be time for a Nebraska pass here. Well, they'll keep it on the ground with Ross. He takes it over 80 yards. He now has 20 in the Penn State game last year and was suspended for a game. 
Ward looking for Pilkington. Got him. Reeled it in at the 46-yard line. It's protection. Watch. He comes back. Good football position. Keep his arms out. It's a good. penalty. That's a penalty. He's been going to the face all day on the pass protection. Well, I can't. Believe, I know. I can't believe they haven't called it, but I he's mean, grabbing everything. He's got a hold of the shoulder pads. I could care less who wins this game, but what, what are the officials here for? Gosh. First and ten. Here's Ross. Across midfield. We'll have second and five. You guys are 100 percent this off. Second and six. Ross has run well, too. Between the tackles, pushes forward. He is very close to the first down. Run. In Kansas State, two really, really good football teams. The fullback, Freewall, pinballs his way across the 40 to the 39. And a first down. Yep. Which is just remarkable in Lincoln, which yep. is not a very easy thing to do. Out of the gun in the hands of Lord. Almost out to the outside. Almost. <laughs> Denver, Colorado. Corey Ross with a little wiggle up across the 20. And did a nice job of holding on as Seth Mitchell. Knee injury earlier. David Dyke, good from 29. That wasn't a great snap. A good hold. They missed the field goal. Is that the 80s? Third and a couple. Smoker. Man coverage. Alexander couldn't reel it in. And that's a three and out again. Interim head coach. And he said he ain't running the offense. It's Barney Cotton show. Bo's not even up the line of at the uh, sideline here. As Ross runs across the 45 and out towards midfield. You're one of the coaches kind of waving it, waving to his wife yeah. and, and loved ones down there because this has been a stressful time for them as well. And they, who knows what tomorrow's going to bring. I mean, we have no idea. And uh, the results is, you know, speak for themselves. Ross here with a first down over the 40 into the 37. Because that play was still going off to the right. The flag makes it second at about 22. Smoker loading up. It's a dangerous play. Intercepted. Cash shows incredible discipline. Top of the screen. At first, he commits, but watch him stay at home as the quarterback rolls away. Head on a swivel, looking around to find a receiver, and sits right in front of Alexander as the ball is thrown. A good corner in Dewan Gross. Get on those chat rooms tonight and give the kid praise. Run by Ross there. A four year player with a who has graduated in Gilt. And he comes up with it. It could be the play to close the deal tonight. Ross spinning. Showing great moves across the 40. And, and to be able to come up with the plays, but it's been all night tonight. The defensive backs have done a nice job of coming up with tackles. They's all, they've also done a nice job of baiting Jeff Smoker, coming up with deflection after deflection. They've had some interception opportunities. Lee talked about now they lead the nation with 31. That's the last one with Ricketts. 22, first and 10. Michigan State has an opening quarter field goal, and that's it. Still trying to add here. Another helmet has come off as Smoker is taken down here tonight. Started out on an internet chat board. One of the few good ideas hatched in the internet chat board. Smoker is brought down and may have taken the worst of that as he threw it away. <laughs> I think they didn't play him again. Oh. <laughs> End of the season. Williams off the corner. Got Smoker. Got a sack. Two sacks and a forced incompletion. If you didn't see the game, you saw it right there. In a nutshell, the speed, the athletic ability of Demario Williams and the rest of the front four from Nebraska, that's been the difference. Getting pressure with four. Good at that defensive end spot on the right side. Obviously have to go for it. Could be the final play for Jeff Smoker in a Spartan uniform. It is an interception brought down by Fabian Washington. They put a very proud line on their resume by how they handled this situation here tonight. Nebraska wins a bowl game again. What else is new? 17 to 3. Jeff Smoker, valiant in his effort for Michigan State. Corey Ross, a career high 138 rushing yards, two touchdowns, the only two of the game. They are our Capital One players of the game. No points scored in the second half. Nebraska, without a permanent head coach, wins it 17 to 3, a 10 win season for the Cornhuskers.